MetaHuman Animator contains the essence of our 4D pipeline, but optimized to run on a single machine. It is able to use iPhone, as well as stereo professional systems, and today, we're going to demonstrate how it works. For this, we're going to need Mel, yeah. our technician John Cook, and just the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Mel, can you take your position, please? Sure. Yeah. Let me know when you're ready. OK. OK, and action. I need performance capture to work like a mirror. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. <sighs> And sometimes, all I need is a look. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, that was incredible. So what you just watched is the, uh, this is GDC 2023, and this is the state of the Unreal Engine <laughs> and 5.2, and they just introduced MetaHuman Animator, right? And all you need is a phone. I imagine this is gonna be an iPhone 10 and you need an actor, right? And they also have an option, of course, for if you have like a, a full motion capture suit that you're gonna use, and you especially, like for example, if you're gonna use move.ai or anything like me, maybe the Rococo or maybe Accent suit or even, even the Perception Neuron Studio suit, any mm -hmm. suit that you may want, right? And then the, the system, right? The way they have it uh, explained here is that this is all being captured and processed here in the Unreal Engine. So it looks like we won't even need to go to the MetaHuman creator. Once you bring in your MetaHuman and you've prepared the MetaHuman and then you're ready to do the facial animation, then this the phone is actually scanning. That's why I'm saying it. You really need an iPhone 10 or higher that has like a depth sensing camera so that you can actually be able to get this kind of information because this is what it's using to create animation for the lips, for the tongue, for the eyes, the head movement, all of that. And it's being processed locally right here. Uh, they mentioned that it's going to be coming in uh, two months time. So if you're watching this in the future, if you already have it, then awesome. <laughs> but today is when they announced it and look at how it's processing, right? So, I mean, Obviously, the elephant in the room is what about all the competition? <laughs> and I must say, yes, this is like a, like a bow, like a, like a shot across the bow in a sense. But we've been waiting for something new from the MetaHuman uh, for the MetaHuman platform, and this is amazing. I'd hope that they would say something about clothing, but to see how they're improving the facial animation and you're able to actually scan. So the data that they just scanned is used to then prepare this uh, head part of the metahuman it's almost your dna that then can be tracked across even as the uh, data is being processed you're able to see it in real time to see how your character is reacting to see this was used only one uh, one iphone <laughs> an iphone right and it's used like a, a like a several frames to be able to process the different angles of this but then it's using that data to process this this is exciting guys because for me i'm always looking to create like convincing like facial animation that carries the story and it's amazing what they are what else is in store and what they are doing right now so i watched this during our gdc and i was blown away i actually you know what i know there was other things that were going to be uh, said <laughs> in terms of announcements but to, for me i had to hurry and give up my feedback and my thoughts about it because it's exciting this changes everything you know in terms of look at how like the articulation of the mouth right the eyes the head it looks like she actually had a motion capture suit on the way the body is responding guys if this isn't true i can't wait to get the metahuman animator this is groundbreaking so we've been seeing a lot of uh the ai stuff coming on the scene right now and i don't know how much ai is being used under the hood here in the unreal engine 5.2 it's amazing what is coming across i mean uh, ahead and i can't wait I am super excited to create short films. I know the metahumans were becoming a little bit redundant, but man, to see like performances are being carried through is amazing. Thank you so much, uh, <laughs> Epic Games. Actually, I thought for a second this was going to be Gabi. Uh, they have like similarities, but uh, it's uh, the original you know, actor that we saw in a previous demo. They're showing you how you can even, uh, there's like a new rig that they've built 
that you're gonna be able to even customize the facial animation even more. And this is gonna work across different uh, meta humans. So if you have like a stylized character, this is another meta human they are putting the same data on top of, so you can actually hear it. And it's amazing what how well the fidelity of that data being able to be transported and, and put on other characters. So, so awesome. This is amazing. And then they shared uh, a, a demo of uh, what this uh, the team that this uh, actor is working with, who they're working with. And it, first of all, her performance is so on point. I looked at the way like she's acting. I'm like, I want to act like that. Like I want to speak like lines like that, you know, I took away some pointers for that. So it really is encouraging to see what uh, Epic Games is doing, what other teams are going to be doing. MetaHuman coming this summer. I can't wait. <laughs> and then this is the option that they shared where you actually get to wear like a full motion capture suit and a head mounted camera rig. I can't wait to try this out on my, by myself. And uh, I know, for example, for me, I have uh, the, uh, it's, uh, uh, the D2. Uh, 2022. Sorry, <laughs> I stumbled there for a second. But this is Ninja Theory. Sorry, that's where I was, I was trying to remember the name of the game. But look at the fidelity. Look at the quality of the facial animation. It looks super realistic. Very convincing. And Candy Valley, no more. I think this is really, really, really well done. And uh, the lighting of course is going to play a big role, of course, when we create these meta humans, but also the acting. We get to actually get to see the actors play the part and actually this comes through because that's where the artistry is. You know, not just AI, but real human actors taking a role in this. So I'm excited because I was starting to think that maybe voice actors were going to be like completely gone out of the industry or pushed out. But I see more usage of voice actors and performances and actors through this. So thank you so much, uh, Ninja Theory team and also Epic Games. This is amazing. <laughs> guys so if you're new to my channel do please spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when i post a new video and what an exciting day what an amazing exciting day guys what unreal engine oh by the way unreal engine 5.2 is available right now but the meta human animator is not yet available i can't wait for when it comes out thank you so much and see you next time bye for now